Hi, this is Brian from BMC British Auto out of Stacy, Minnesota, and today we are here in Reno, MG 2011, with Ken Palmer. Brian, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to pleasure to meet you, Ken. And you have an MGA twin cam, as different from the. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. I've no, already heard twin cam. It's right? not a twin cam. No. It is a deluxe. It's a deluxe. It's different from. It is a different twin cam. cam. Yes, it so, is. So now that I've now that I've made the big mistake, why don't you educate me, the public, and everybody who everybody who needs to know? Tell us the difference between the two cars. Well, those of us with cars, nothing we'd rather do than talk about our cars. Uh, Absolutely. At any rate. Uh, the uh, the factory contracted for 2,500 twin cam chassis when they built the cars, uh, but they ran out of patience with the engine at 2,111. So they had roughly 400 chassis remaining. Uh, as MGA production wound down, they put them on the line and put in whatever engine they were using at that time, 1600 or 1622, and with some minor modifications, the bodies, yep. and uh, created what at the time, I go back that far, were called competition models. Okay. And they have since become deluxe models. Okay. So at any rate, that's, okay. it's a twin cam with a push rod engine. Okay. And tell me, how did you acquire this car, and uh, tell, me, tell, me, tell me your story about it. Well, I... Uh, we lived in Los Angeles at the time. Uh, it was uh, 1976, if I recall correctly, and I'd grown up with an MGA, in effect, and said, now's the point in my life where I can have a hobby car. Looked in the LA Times, and a gentleman had advertised a twin cam and a, quote, deluxe. So I called him up, quizzed him about the deluxe, and his response was, you're the only person I've ever talked to who knew what a deluxe was. I uh, went up and looked at both cars, the twin cam, was in a sorrier state than the deluxe, so I took the deluxe. Okay. And essentially, it came off the back of a used car lot in Pasadena and uh, set about restoring it and uh, drove it for years as a restored car. So it's been in the family since '76. No. Okay. So yeah. It's a gorgeous car. Yeah, now, other than other than what it came from the factory as, I've seen the Judson supercharger and the valve cover, which that's a very, very special valve cover to me because that's that's actually the first Judson valve cover really? on a B-series that I've seen. I've, really? I've seen a number of A-series Judson valve covers, but could you tell us a little bit about that and also five-speed, four-speed, differential, anything? What else sure. have you done to the car? Uh, well, the, the valve cover, that was part of the kit. If you bought an MGA okay. Judson kit in 19, whenever they came out, 59 or whatever it was, you got the valve cover. Okay. It contained the oiler and all that sort of thing, so that's... I expect they've been, simply been lost over the years. I don't, okay. I don't know. Uh, this car, when it came from the factory, was not black. It was white with a black interior. I wanted black, so it's black. Uh, it had a it had a closed race for transmission. Okay. That was pretty much the only option it came with. Okay. Still have uh, that or not? Yes. Okay. However, uh, back in the day, uh, I found a set of competition seats and put in it. Uh, which, in terms of driving, is a mistake. I will tell you. They're oh, really? Grossly okay. uncomfortable, okay. but they look nice. They look nice. Yeah. they look great. Uh, it has a factory hard top. It has a factory weather shield, side curtains. It's uh, got a lot of. I, it's my thing. So it's the tonneau cover is new old stock. The side curtain pocket is new old stock. Okay. All the chrome, with just a few minor exceptions, is is original stuff. It has a factory anti sway bar. I mean, that's kind of my thing. So it's, okay. it's got a lot of stuff that uh, that was optional at the okay. time that I acquired over the years. Okay, so it's so it's basically as much as as much as humanly possible. It's an NOS car. That's accurate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's accurate. Yeah. Now, you are a member of a few clubs. Can you tell me what clubs you belong to? Well, Nam Gone Forever, uh, way back, Bruce Frankenberger and Max Spears and all those folks. Uh, and uh, I was one of the co-founders of the Southern California MGA Register back in the uh, late 70s, I guess. Uh, and co-founder of the uh, Central California uh, MGA Register and then in Southern California British, or, pardon me, Central California. California British Car Club, and now we are the Paradise British Car Club. Central, okay. Central 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 Central. Now, I, I don't get the chance to ask too many people this, but um, okay, this is a nice car. There's, there's, I jokingly say there's three types of three types of British car owners. There's those that own quantity, like myself. There's those that own quality. Well, I know I know you own quality, and then there's those that own both. Do you have any other cars other than the MGA Deluxe? <laughs> uh, well, like. Any MG guy. I've had lots of them over the years. But anyway, you know, I have a uh, Mark VI Elva race car. Okay. That I race in Vintage Racing. Uh, if you ever saw Viva Las Vegas, that's what Ann Margaret and 
Elvis Grove and Viva Las Vegas. So anyway, I have that car. I have a 1936 uh, TA. Uh, that's a project car okay. uh, that I'm Wonder. working on. Uh, my daughter, subsequently, uh, she now lives up north, but she has a 64 full handle MGB that we bought and restored. British cars come and go at our house. Okay. Yeah. But, but the classic ones, the nice ones, the the ones previous to uh, emissions and crash standards. Yeah, for the most part. The, gold, the golden era of, of British cars. Well, you know, that's my era. One person you know, so, uh, yeah. that's, that's the era that I always enjoy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, yeah, this, I expect this, but I'll stick with this until I move on down the road. And, and so. The other ones may come and go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really appreciate the uh, the time you've taken with us and uh, and showing us your car and telling us about you and, and your projects. And uh, uh, it's uh, I think this is the furthest west I've personally ever been. But uh, hopefully we'll see you again at another meet someplace around here. Yeah. So if folks back east or it's always a pleasure to go back east. Back east, back, back east. east. We're Midwest. No, so. east to see east is east to the Sierra. So. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Ken. Thank, thank you, you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.